Okay, we are going to play around a little bit with creating a custom field and then using it for filtering and reporting on branded versus non-branded organic traffic. So maybe what I'll, what I'll do just to start out with is I'm going to go ahead and add a little table here and got my this is a Google Search Console data source. I'm going to put query as my dimension and we'll do flex professions CTR and average position. Okay. So we got that and you can see there's a mix of branded and non-branded. Make that a little bigger so you can see that a little better. Okay. So I'm gonna add a custom field to the data source to differentiate between branded and non-branded traffic. So to do that, I go to manage added data sources. I've got this data source, like I said, it's coming from Google Search Console. I'm going to click to add a field and I'm going to say, um, we'll call, call this query type. And what I, I'm going to, use a case statement which is what a case statement does is it checks different cases and it returns a value based on um, evaluation of typically another field uh, and you'll you'll see what i mean in a second so you start out by going case and now the the syntax of case is when um, you know, I'll just do something really simple. When one is greater than zero, then um, we return the universe is in order. So, and then down here, you can say end. Now, this all this does is it's going to return the universe is in order because one is always greater than zero. Um, you can actually throw in an else, and I can say the universe is not in order. So, in this case, uh, if one does not evaluate to being greater than zero, then the universe is, it'll return that the universe is not in order. So this is adding a new field to my data set, and, and this field will have one of two values. The universe is in order, and the universe is not in order, and hopefully it'll pretty much all the time say the universe is in order. So that's just to show you how a case statement works. So now let's, um, I'm going to do some, some trickiness here. So. This function matches a value against a regular expression. And what I want to do is match the query. And then my regular expression, um, the, so I'm not going to go into detail about regular expressions here. If you're not familiar with them, you're, you'll, you'll need to, to do your homework on regular expressions. Um, to to understand this, but but in when we're adding a regular expression here, then we surround it with the the expression itself with with quotes, not with um, with uh, backslashes. And then what I want to do is just find any instance where a um the the query has my brand name in it um, and, and in, in our case it's pretty simple um, but I'll do a, a couple of different 
versions of it. So one would be two Octobers as a single word. And in a regular expression, I can throw in an or, or say two Octobers as a double word. And just, I don't know, to be safe, I'm going to do two Octobers and two space Octobers and I should be saying four or um, we do occasionally get a missing O there and so then in this case I'm going to say then query type is branded and else I'm going to say non-branded. Okay. Close that. So just since we um, since we've created it, I'm going to go ahead and I'll throw the query type in. So drag this out a little bit. So you see, so we have two Octobers branded, two storytelling examples is not branded. So it's now it's populating this field. Uh, and um, it looks like mostly non-branded traffic in, in our case. Okay, so now a couple of things that we can do with this. I'm going to insert a time series chart. And I'm going to let's see. I'm going to throw in my query type. So now we can see branded versus non-branded on on our graph of. Um, traffic data and we've got clicks as our dimension here. I'm going to change that to impressions. Okay, so pretty helpful. Um, now I'm going to do a couple of other things. I'm going to put this over here, make it a little bit smaller, drag this table over here and we'll Make this a little bit more compact. I'm going to get rid of query type in this table. And go ahead and make that a little smaller. Okay, now I'm going to copy this table. And still, still a little, little bigger than I want it. Um, We'll call that good. We'll just play around with the layout later. The next thing I'm going to do is to my tables, I'm going to add a filter. So on this table, I'm going to create a filter and I'm going to say um, non branded queries. And I'm going to say the query, oh, not the query, I'm sorry, the query type is equal to non-branded and I'm going to save that and then over here I'm going to say I want to do the opposite I'm going to add a filter I'm going to create a filter and I'm going to say brand Query type equals to and turns out we don't actually get a lot of branded search traffic so um, that's helpful to see um, 
And let's see. Anything quick? I, oh, yeah, here's a quick thing I can do to make give myself a little bit more room. Um, I... Scroll down to the bottom. Oh, I'm... Look here. I'm going to get rid of row numbers. And then that just that'll give me a little bit more room. So looks a little nicer. And probably good idea to add a little bit of, of labeling here to say move this down. Move this one down, and I'll add text, say, non-branded, and branded queries. There we go. Let's have a look at it. Got our graph of branded versus non-branded. You can see that nearly all of our traffic is, um, you, you have to mouse over it to see the branded at all. But, you know, this is unusual. We do get a lot of, of blog traffic and we're a small business. Our brand is not that well known. Chances are our clients that you work with a lot of times they're going to see that branded is a much bigger percentage. And I, what I find valuable about this report or, or looking at the data that, this way is that if a, an organization is doing a lot of other marketing, they will tend to see branded traffic pick up. In, in, or let's say they stop doing other marketing. And, and so you can see big fluctuations in organic search traffic volume based on other activities that are increasing or decreasing branded traffic. So I like to be able to look at them separately because typically what we're doing in SEO is mostly working on non -brand, impacting non-branded traffic. So uh, using the same way that we did it here, we could just filter non-branded out, but I kind of, kind of like this view where you get to see both of them. So there you go.